Hello everyone, welcome back to the Traction YouTube channel and welcome to Interlagos for this iRacing Touring Car Challenge Track Guide. Now the Touring Cars and Interlagos, absolutely perfect, but there's a couple of places here where you need to take advantage of the track limits and a couple of places where you just need to back off a little bit. All will become clear when we get into the Track Guide. So if you've followed my Track Guides before, you'll know that they are not a place for hot laps. It's a slow, methodical approach where we learn the circuit talk about my braking markers, my reference points, and the little quirks that each circuit has. So as usual, I will show you a flying lap in full, then we'll jump in the car, do a few laps, show you those braking markers and reference points in action. Then at the end, we'll talk about pit entry, pit exit, and where I think we can overtake here at Interlagos. So enough talking, let's get on track. So here we are then on the main straight here at Interlagos. So as usual, we've set the sim time to match the official series. So it's the 28th of May, 2022. And the time in the sim is 12.40. We're also using the iRacing Sprint setup, which is what is used in the official series. Track temperature right now, as you can see on screen, is 36 degrees Celsius, exactly the same as it was in the flying lap that you've just seen. Brake bias this week, we've gone for 43.8%. We haven't gone too low, because there are lots of places here where we're trail braking. So 43.8% works for me now interlagos really good circuit in any car it's actually really good fun in the touring car but you've got to maximize the track limits you've got to use them to your advantage and there's a couple of places where you think you can push you've just got to just wind it back a little bit so turn number one we're going to be approaching here in the sixth gear and we're going to be breaking at the 50 board we're going to be on the chevrons on the right hand side but then we're just going to move across as we start to break we're going to try and keep the car as far over to the right as we can until the last moment. We're going to be in third, good out of third gear. And we're going to turn in really late. And we're going to use this curb on the left-hand side. Because we need the car positioned here to open up this right. Now, if you get this right, if you get your car positioned correctly, then you can get on the gas here and you're wide open until turn number four. So third gear. And then we're going to be cutting this inside curb. And your right wheels will be on the grass but if you've got it right, you need to practice that. If you've got it right, you can be flat out. And then we're hugging this curb all the way around, making the circuit as short as we possibly can. So right round here on the curb. And then we're round. Then we can move across to the right-hand side for turn number four. Now, this is a really, really important turn. Really difficult. You can break later than what I do. However, I like to break a little bit earlier, get the car nice and settled for the turn in for turn number four. So we're breaking just before the concrete patch on the right-hand side. You can break on the concrete patch or just after, but just before, 
I think that settles the car nicely. And we're going to be coming off the brakes nice and smoothly. Getting the car nice and settled as we turn in. We're going to be third gear. We're going to be across this curb. And then we're going to be on the gas hard. The car will run out wide. Don't go too far off track here. Because you will get an off track. That's about as far as you want to go. Then again, on the curb on the left hand side. Make the track as short as you can. Up to fourth. Then up to fifth. Now, turn six and seven. Really difficult. You're just going to have to pick a turning point here. Because it's not really easy to see the apex. Pretty much as soon as I see the apex on the right hand side there. Then I start to brake slightly down to fourth gear. And we're going to be trail braking to the apex. Now, this is a, a place where we need to be patient so fourth gear the car will run a little bit out wide but just don't get on the gas yet you've got to be patient wait and at this point now you can get on the gas the car will run out wide to the left and again don't go too far over to the left because you will get an off track now here's where you need to start maximizing the track limits or taking advantage of them so here we're going to be braking down into second gear and we're going to trail brake all the way to the apex i'm going to take a huge chunk of this on the inside and then get back on the gas again and then as soon as you get to the curb on the left we're going to be braking trail braking nice tight line all the way around when you go around here you'll feel that this there's, there's, there's two stages of the grip so it grips initially then it drops off and then you'll feel the car hook, hook up again that's when you need to get back on the accelerator and if you do it will push out wide onto this curb but that's fine accelerate all the way up third gear and then at the tree on the left hand side we're going to move the car over to the left then at the tree we're going to be braking and we're going to be going down to second gear and we're going to apex this one really late and then we can get on the accelerator again the car will push out wide but you can run on here and then accelerate keep accelerating now flat out all the way around nice tight line all the way around turn number 11 up to fourth gear and then as we approach turn number 12 which i would say is the final turn we want the car over here and you can see there's a dirty patch of astroturf or a darker patch of astroturf there. I'll just reverse back a little bit. You can see where it is. So there's the curb ending and then there's a tyre mark on the right. And then there's a, a darker patch on there. Well, you want the car right over here. Yeah, if you don't, then you're missing out on a couple of metres of track. So you brake just at that point. And we're going to be braking all the way down to second gear. And we're going to be really patient turn in and now if you've got it right if you turn at the right moment then you can get on the gas before the apex really important to get on the gas before the apex because it's a really long straight here all the way down to turn number one the car will run out wide but then move it back over to the left and we'll hold it tight all the way around turn 13 and turn 14 and turn 15. so nice and tight all the way around here we're going to use the pit lane entrance there Again, to our advantage, nice and tight through here. We'll pick up the pace a little bit now. So turn number one, we're braking at the 50 board or just before. And we're going to be all the way down into third gear. Use this curb on the left-hand side. Then get on the gas now. Cut this curb. Nice and tight all the way around here. And up to fifth gear. Just leave it in fifth gear at this point. It will be screaming, but just leave it in fifth unless you've got draft. So just before this concrete, we're going to be braking. Get the car nice and settled. And then accelerate through. Car will push out wide. Nice and tight around this left hander. And up to fifth. Now you've just got to find a braking marker here. I usually wait until I can spot the apex. There it is. Again, get the car nice and settled around here. Be patient. See my throttle inputs. I'm only wide open until when I get to the end. So here's where we need to cut this curb. Then accelerate. Then at the start of the curb on the left, we're going to be braking. Nice tight line. Then accelerate through. Then move the car off to the left. And we're going to be braking at the tree. Down to second. Apex this one really late. Then you can accelerate through. And it's flat out all the way around here. Nice and tight all the way around. And we need to move the car over to the right after the curb. Not before the curb ends. Then we're going to be braking there. Down to second. Tires are still cold. They couldn't quite get on the gas early enough there. We'll do that better on the next lap. So nice and tight all the way around here. Turns 14, 15. Nice tight line. Make the circuit as short as you possibly can. We'll do one more flying lap. So nice and tight here. Just missed the tyres on the left-hand side. 
Then move over to the right hand side. So we're breaking at the 50 board. Keep the car over to the right though under braking. We're going to turn in really late. And then use the curb. Then if you've got it right, you can get on the gas here and we're flat out all the way through. If you don't quite get it right, you will end up on the grass on the left hand side on exit. We'll move the car over to the right just before that piece of concrete on the right. We're going to be braking. Getting the car nice and settled. Off the brakes nice and gradually. Really important in the touring car to get the car nice and settled. Again here we're going to be patient round here. Really patient. Braking. Hit the first apex. Let the car run out wide. Then hit the second apex. That's better. Tires are nice and warm now. And then we're going to be on the brakes hard. Down to second, put this curb and get on the gas. And at the start of this curb, we're going to be braking nice and tight and get on the gas again. At the second part of that turn, it's like a double apex, that one. So braking at the tree, turning really late, then accelerate through the corner. Use that on the exit if you need to. But then we're flat out all the way around here, nice and tight. Move the car over to the right after the curb. Look at that dirty patch, there it is. Down to second gear. Then accelerate before the apex. That's better. This is going to be a bit quicker. This is probably going to be even quicker than the flying lap I did at the start of the video. Which has happened a few times this season. And up to sixth. And across the line in a 1 minute 42.945. So yeah, it's a couple of tenths quicker than what we did in the flying lap but really important here to maximize the track limits or use them to your advantage and a couple of places around turn six and seven especially or four five six and seven where you've got to be really really patient right let's have a look at pit entry pit exit and then we'll have a look at where i think we can overtake so pit entry and pit exit here at interlagos is probably one of the best on the simulator there's no dramas on entry not really any dramas on exit either. So, pit entry is just before, or yeah, just before turn number 15. So, we're going to be on the left hand side as normal. But as we go around turn number 15, the left hand side of this white line, you can see pit entry there. Now, what I use is a braking marker. You can see some tyre marks on the road surface there. So, they're just going to be above our instrument cluster now. So, I brake here hard on the brakes. Pit speed limit here is 80 kilometers an hour, so it's no problem getting it slowed down before the yellow cone. And there's the yellow cone. Engage the pit limiter at that point. Easy as that. Pit exit, similar story. The only tricky part is the left hander just as you exit the pit. So when you release the pit limiter, you will have to be off the gas and on the brakes a little bit. Then accelerate through all the way around. You can be flat out around this first part, but then here around this left. You will just have to lift a little bit. Otherwise, you may go on the grass on the right hand side. There's the blue cone. And then we can move over at this point. But there's a nice run down to turn number four. So if anybody's coming past you to lap you, just yield. Let them guys go. Then slot in behind them and try and get their draft for the rest of the lap. Right. Overtaking. Should be fun this week. So overtaken here at Interlagos. Well, it's going to be a bit of a draft fest because there are a couple of really long straights. And if you get a good exit onto those straights, then you've got a really good chance of overtaking. Now, as usual, we're going to do a lap and we're going to assume that people are going to defend into the popular overtaking places. And we're going to talk about what we can do to combat that defensive driving. So turn number one, if you can get up the inside here, great. If people don't defend, then obviously that's the overtake that you should be making. But if they do defend, if they take a defensive line over here, then we're going to take our normal line. We're going to sit behind them until this point so they can't alter their line into turn number one. And then we're going to move over to the right-hand side and we're going to break where we would normally break. But we're going to hold an outside line around turn number one. Now, I quite fancy my chances making an overtake stick here because if you've got the outside line here and if you can make it stick... Then you've got the inside line for turn number two. And they've got the barrier to contend with on the left-hand side. We can rub their door a little bit. They've got that barrier and that grass. If they put a wheel on that grass, then it's game over. So that would be my advice there. Overtake on the outside of turn one. Or sorry, go around the outside turn one. 
overtake on the inside of turn two. Now, the run down here, you can, if people are going to defend, which they probably will, you can hold an outside line around turn four. However, you might have to take an off track to get the overtake done. If you've been behind somebody for lap after lap after lap, and they're defending quite well everywhere, they'll, you may have to just take an off track on exit just to keep that momentum up so you've got the inside line for turn six and seven. So I would set the overtake up here. Then you might have to run out wide here. You might just have to bite the bullet, take the off track, just so you've got track position for turn six and seven. If you've got the inside line here, then you've got the overtake done. If you haven't, well, unfortunately, you're not really going to get anything done unless you can switch it back here and maybe nick the inside line going into turn number eight. But it's unlikely. It's unlikely get, go, you want to get around the outside around there. So here's just a procession. Not really going to be overtaken around here. Even up to turn number 10. Maybe, maybe hold an outside line around here. If you do, if you can hold it around the outside here, then you can overtake them around turn number 11 and 12. However, I would much rather wait, make them defend going into turn number 12, make them have this track position here, then we can sit behind them, move across at the last moment, and think about our exit. If we get a really good exit out of here, they're going to be over here somewhere, no doubt. They're going to be over here struggling on the grass because they've adopted a defensive line. If that's the case, we'll get a really good exit out of turn number 12, and then we'll hold the inside line all the way around here, and that's them overtaken. And if you don't get them overtaken and they adopt that defensive line, well, the whole process starts again and we try and go around the outside, turn one and overtake them into turn two. Should be good fun this week. Should be really good fun. So there we go. That's Interlagos done. Please let us know down below in the comments how you get on. What were your times before the guide and what were your times after? Did I help? Did I cover everything that you wanted to be covered in a track guide? As always, thanks for watching. Good luck. Keep it pinned.